today because uh, someone did ask, uh, and it was out of the district, but I'll, I'll still read it, that it seems that taxes are going up and up and up, and we're getting less and less and less. What can we do about it? Uh, this is Kevin and Tracy. And so look, I, I look at, well, how do you pay for all of this, uh, these needs in infrastructure, healthcare, uh, and I look at a president who has put us back into NATO, essentially. Uh, and is relying on global alliances for our national defense. And so my hope is over time, as we get these countries back together, uh, that we can spend less on our own national defense and that th those dollars would go into our communities as far as health care uh, and education, because that has to be the priority. Uh, but that means we have to rely on alliances again in the world uh, and not try and go uh, it alone. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark to Mark from San Ramon asks, Salt deduction on tax, are you going to reinstate salt on federal income tax deduction, and would you be willing to reverse the Trump tax cuts on high-income individuals? What's the plan? Yes. Um, I hope. Yeah. Um, but again, we've got to get the majority in the House back to do that. Putin is trying to, is trying to keep me from expressing myself. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paranoid. Um, yes, on the answer to both. We will try to get salt back, but we have to get control of the House. They did a very targeted initiative when it came to the deduction for state and local taxes. It impacted areas like California. They knew what they were doing, um, but it doesn't help the country. This is where 60% of the GDP is in areas that they're attacking. So this is where the creation is. Um, this is the creative environment, innovation, but it costs more to live here. People want to live here. Um, so we've got to get rid of it. And the other issue on Trump taxes, if we could have gotten Bill back better last session, that would have done that. Uh, but we couldn't get the necessary votes in the Senate. So we have to stick at it. You know, I always tell people, if we just went back to the tax code during the Republican administration of President Eisenhower, we would have a much better middle class and we wouldn't have the inequality and poverty that we have right now. Okay. Yeah. One, one big thing, if I just, the president did a remarkable job of working with the rest of the industrialized world to get a minimum corporate tax. That, that's gonna help a lot.